Oh, that's nice. Has it got a conch in it? Oh, it hasn't. Doesn't have a. They didn't clean it either. We can, we can make a conch horn out of that. Yeah, let's make a conch horn. All right. Awesome. You know how to blow one? Huh? Do you know how to blow a conch horn? Yeah. What happened to the one I made you a long time ago? Well, I had show and tell, and I brought it to show and tell, and we had to leave our stuff there because, I don't know, I don't remember, but we had to leave our stuff there, and someone took it. Oh, um, my word. All right, we're going to make a conch shell, guys. Hey, stick around. Watch this video. We're going to shout and make a, a, a conch horn, and uh, we're going to have Abby show you how to blow it. And today, we're going to try to make a conch horn out of this conch that Abby found on the beach. Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, we found it yesterday. So we're going to make a conch horn, and first thing we have to do is cut off the tip of it to make a place for the mouthpiece to go. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mark this. If you uh, think about this, I'm going to cut this around so... I usually mark it so that I don't get out of hand of where I'm cutting it. So, so basically, this is going to be like a mouthpiece on a trumpet or a, a what's the trumpet? What's the other one? Like a trumpet, a trumpet or a horn but I like on a trumpet and it's going to be small. You want to start off on a smaller opening. Um, what I've noticed, I've made about 10 of these. Uh, the bigger that the hole that you make, the harder and more air it takes to blow it. And if you get too small, you can't make the sound on it. So we're going to start the size of about the size of a nickel is the biggest we want. Uh, we do have a Dremel tool here and we're going to use that to cut it. This shells are extremely hard. Uh, I've tried to use a hacksaw and different things, but a Dremel tool seems to work best for us. If I had a tile saw, that would be ideally the way to go. But we're going to get this started and let Abby start uh, cutting it off using, the, uh, using our Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel on it. And hey, always wear your safety glasses, guys. All right, so I'm going to show her how to start this and uh, then I'm going to pass it on over to Abby. Oh, and we need a dust mask too, guys. All right, we got our dust mask on. You got your dust mask on, girl? What I'm trying to do is cut this flat and parallel with that, the top of it. You don't want it to be at an angle. You kind of want it straight up and down. And we're gonna cut that all the way off until we get that off. And if we cut it wrong or too small, we can always make it bigger. But if we make it too big, we can't make it small. You ready, girl? Now you're gonna have to hold this. We're just gonna try to walk around the edge, spin around it. So we've got that cut and we've exposed a little hole in here and that's where you're going to blow in. Hey, so one of the things is the inside of this is a sharp edge. I guarantee you, I've seen it too many times, somebody's always going to stick their finger in there and they're going to rub it around just to feel and they're going to cut themselves. So we're going to change up our grinding stone. We're going to put in a, uh, either a sander or a stone disc on our Dremel. And we're going to smooth that edge off in there. So that's going to be the next thing we're going to do. All right, guys. So if you look inside of here, you can see this, the shell. Let's see if I can find something to point with. You can see the shell spirals. Starts from a small shell and spirals around and around and around and around. We're going to knock some of this out with a screwdriver or a chisel or a punch or something and make that open a little bigger. You'll get a more of a robust sound from it. I've just, this stuff that I've learned in the past and I'm sure there's other ways of doing it, but this works for me. Here, Abby, you can hold that for me. Make sure you can see the shell there. I 
don't know if you can see me what I'm breaking off here. So you can see it's a little bit bigger and now we're going to take our grinding stone and we're going to ground this out and smooth it up. We're going to be putting our uh, your lips again and I again somebody's going to stick their finger in there. I'm going to round it out, make it smooth, and get a nice round. Like I said, if I've ever seen a trumpet mouthpiece or something, it's going to be like, it's going to be like that. And then we're going to smooth out this outside here. We're going to go ahead and try to wash off, out, get all this dust. There's some sand that's still in there, and we're going to get that out. All right, so if you look inside of there, I have knocked some of that spiral part of the shell out to give a little more air room and uh, it'll give a little heartier sound. Do you want to try to blow it? All right, yeah, that's the start of it. We're going to try to clean it up next and, um, and then what? Up. Yes, we're going to use a wire brush and we're going to clean the outside of the shell. There's a lot of loose stuff on it. It'll dress it up a little bit. And got this wire brush in my drill and we're going to try to dress it up. That already looks much better. Alright guys, so... We've used a wire brush and cleaned off as much as we can. And uh, the last thing we're going to do. So the last thing we're going to do, this uh, horn is going to be for my granddaughter. And the edges of this are kind of rough. Uh, we don't really want them getting cut. And we don't want it to bang up the furniture at home. So we're going to grind some of this off and right, make it a little smoother and rounder. Safety first. Yeah. Make sure you wear them eye sure. protection and the, and the dust mask. We're not going to try not to uh, change the um, profile on it. We just want to make it where it's not going to be sharp. So it's going to be like that so we won't cut our fingers and hopefully don't beat up the furniture. All right, let's get Abby working on this. Feel smooth. All right, it up. All right, guys. So we um we ground this outside edge down. We wanted to make it smooth where it wasn't gonna hurt you or cut cut anybody. But we love the profile on it. We wanted to keep that profile. Wanted to keep the profile like it is, but we can now we're just not gonna wind up cutting your hands and probably not beat up the furniture as bad. All right, last thing we're gonna do is carve. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put her name in it, carve her name, put the uh, put the year that we're down here visit us in the Bahamas. All right, one other note, guys. Queen conchs are protected in the United States. Uh, it's illegal to take them if there's anything living in it. If you do find a shell, make sure there's nothing living in it before you take it and make a conch horn. If you do find one, you're extremely lucky and a few easy steps and you can have a conch horn. Last thing to do, we're going to blow this at sunset. Miss Abby's going to show you how it's done. All right, guys, we got this conch horn finished. Miss Abby's going to show us how to blow it. The sun's going down. Celebrating this uh, end of the day.